we'll go to the xscript website and go to the xscript page this is the description about xscript and go to the downloads section where you can see multiple different files there is a windows installer there is a portable version for encryption and a portable version for decryption we will check in the various total if there are any issues uh, in these files for the windows installer as Comware has reported it is a malware site but remaining uh, tools mentioned that it is safe so we will uh, neglect that one the portable version also looks great I downloaded all the three files usually require only the installer or uh, uh, portable version files. First we will see how to work with installer. Double click on that one. It may ask for the password because it requires administrative privileges. The installer version offers Nitro PDF reader but I don't need that one so I can bypass that one. Now the installation is completed, click on finish, we will see where these files are installed because it didn't ask me for any directory while installing. So it's gone to C colon program files, X script, yes, all the files are installed to this location. Now I have installed the application so all the required functionality is available through the context menu. I will go to the required files where which I wanted to be encrypted. Right click on the files and then click on encrypt. There are multiple options are there. You can um, encrypt a copy or encrypt a copy to exe or just encrypt. If you click on encrypt, it will delete the original files and uh, keeps only the encrypted files. It is asking for me for a password. I am giving a password, clicking on OK. Now the original files got deleted and the encrypted files got saved to my directory. Now I am going to decrypt the file. It is asking me for a password. I entered the wrong password so let me try again. It's done. One more advantage is I really don't need to decrypt the file before editing it. So I have one configuration file, I double click on the encrypted file and uh, I will modify the file here and uh, I will close it. So the, all those changes will be saved automatically to the encryption, encrypted file. I really don't need to uh, decrypt and encrypt again. Now this is a portable version uh, of the encryption tool. It looks like an Windows Explorer if you double click on it. Going to the folder, select a file which you wanted to encrypt, right click on the file, don't select it, just right click. There are two options encrypt and decrypt, these two will be available only within the uh, encryption explorer window. It will ask for a password, then click enter it and then click on OK. Now we will see the decryptor. Uh, portable version. If you click on that one, you just op file open, select the encrypted file which you already encrypted earlier, okay. click on password and enter the password. Okay. Now click decrypt. file is decrypted successfully. Now you can see the decrypted file in your local folder along with your uh, uh, encryption. This is the portable version. Now what it will do, it will just do a copy of a uh, copy of the original file. It won't do the uh, delete the existing one. I am going to do a small test on that one. I am going to uh, use the secure delete of this tool. Now I deleted. I have undeleted utility. Using that one, I am going to search for this file whether I am able to recover it or not. 